Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're doing a Canva tutorial on how to create templates and sell them online for passive income. Even if you're a beginner to Canva, this tutorial will be step by step how to create the template and how to actually go to sell it. Now, before we hop onto my computer, if you're new here and you wanna learn all about making passive income, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my weekly videos. I've created and sold digital products online for about a year now, and I love giving you guys advice on how you can get started on your digital product business. Now, we're creating a media kit template today, which I mentioned in last week's video, which I recommend you watch right after this. But everything you learn here, you can use Use to create any types of templates you want. So without further ado, let's jump onto my computer and start the tutorial. Now, in order for you to create templates in Canva to sell online, you do need the pro account. So I will leave a link in the description box down below for a 30 day free trial if you wanted to try that out. So I'm on the homepage of canva.com and I'm going to start a new artboard. So go to the top here on the right hand side and go to create a design. Then click on custom size and I'm creating a media kit template at US letter size. So at eight and a half by 11 inches. So right here, click on inch and I'm going to create an eight and a half by 11 inches and go to create new design. So here's the blank artboard that I'm going to work with. And you can see right here that I can zoom in by using this at the bottom here. Here. Now I want half inch margins all around my artboard. So if you go to file right here, click on show rulers and you'll see a pop up on the top and the left hand side and go to show guides. Now, if I go to this ruler here and I start dragging, I can create half inch margins that I will turn off at the very end once I've completed my design. Now I want borders on the top and bottom of my design. So I'm gonna go to elements, go to shapes and click on the rectangle here and I'm gonna change the size. So as you drag this, you'll see that the height is changing. So I'm gonna put it at half an inch and you can just line it up at the top here and start dragging it to increase the width. Now I'm gonna change the color to a light pink. So to change the color, go right up here. And this is where you can select your color. You can also go to document colors, click on here, and you can start changing it to whatever color you want. Or you can even change the hex code right here if you know the hex code. Right now I'm gonna change it to this soft pink and I'm gonna copy and paste it to bring it to the bottom. So just control C and control V and bring it to the bottom. All right, in case you don't know what a media kit template is, it's basically for influencers and bloggers to showcase their work and talk about their stats and maybe other brands that they've worked with in order for them to get more clients and brands. So I'm going to put in a frame where the customer can change the photo to their own photo. So under elements, same thing, I'm going to scroll down and go to frames. You can choose a square frame. I'm actually gonna click on the circle and you'll see how this works. So I'm going to make this smaller. You just have to click on these corners and drag it to make it smaller or bigger. Now for my template, I just want to put a face of a girl that you can swap out. Now make sure any stock photos you use, you have a commercial license to. So you can get free stock images from pexels.com or you can purchase stock photos from places like Creative Market or Shutterstock. Right now, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna go to the search bar right here and just type in girl. And I'm gonna use this one here. So I'm gonna drag it right here. And that looks good for now. And I'm gonna start adding text for her name. So you can go to text, go to add a heading, and let's call her Tiffany. I'm gonna actually add a subheading for her last name. Now, I wanna change the font of these and I want a really nice script font for the first name. So when you click on the text, you'll see that you can change the letters right here. So I can change the color, the size. I'm gonna go to the fonts. Now for a commercial license, there's actually 50 free fonts that you can use in Canva. I will leave a link for that in the description box. You can also upload your own fonts if you have some. So I purchase fonts from Creative Market. And the great thing is if you sign up for Creative Market for free, you get free goodies every Monday and sometimes they're fonts. So I have a, a few free fonts that I'm allowed to use. I will leave my link in the description box if you wanna use that. So if you wanna upload your own font, if you don't wanna use the fonts that Canva has. You could just go to upload a font and a new window will open. And this is where you can go to upload a font from your computer. But if you do upload one, you have to refresh your artboard for it to show up in the list. Let's use 
this font here for Tiffany and I'm going to make this one this font for now. So I can change the size by going here or I could just drag the corners. Now I'm just gonna change the color of her last name. Okay, so I'm gonna put her occupation. So I'm going to add more text and we'll call her a fashion and lifestyle influencer. Now there's a few sections that I wanna add in this media kit template. So I'm gonna start adding some headings. Now I want to add a pink line behind all of these titles. So I'm gonna go back to elements, and click on this line here. So at the top left, you can see that I can change the weight of the line and I can change the style. So I'm gonna click this one here and I'm going to match the color to the border that I have. To send it to the back, just click on it, right click and go send to back. Okay, so before I add some more text, I want to put in a stock photo at the bottom left here. And what I'm gonna do is add another frame. So again, that's under elements. And this time I'm going to put in this rectangular frame. This is something that the customer can remove or they can just swap in another photo that they want to showcase on here, whether it's of their work or just some sort of really nice stock image. So I'm going to drag in one of my stock images. So what you can do is go to uploads. And in order for you to upload images from your computer, just go to upload media. But I've already uploaded this image here, which I have a commercial license to. So I'm going to drag it into that frame just like that. Now let's add in some service rates here. So I'm going to add in some options that the customer can edit and put in the price that they offer it at. So for example, I'm going to go to text and type in Instagram post as an option. Maybe that's a service that they provide. Now you'll notice that these text boxes are all over the place. So I'm going to use one of my favorite features in order for them to line up perfectly. Just drag your cursor and select all four text boxes. Go to the top here to the three dots position and go to tidy up. Now the spacing between all of these text boxes are perfect and they're aligned in the center, but I actually want to align them to the left. So I'm going to select these all again, go to position and I'm going to line it to left here. Okay, so I just added in a couple of X's here and I lined them all up so that the customer can just put in the price that they offer their services at. Now I'm gonna add in some text boxes for the about me section and the audience and stats. Drag this over, meet it with the margin and just start typing and of course changing the font. I've already created some text in a Word document so I'm just going to copy and paste it here for the sake of time. Now, the great thing about these text boxes is it's so easy for you to format. So just highlight everything and you can actually align everything to the left. Okay, so now I'm going to add in some stats for this influencer. I'm just going to add some information in the header and footer. Now I want to actually add the logo for Instagram and for email. So go to elements and I can type in Instagram logo. And I'm going to do the exact same thing at the bottom and just add her email and her website. Okay, so I'm really happy with this template. Now I need to share this with my customers that actually purchase my listing. So in order for you to do that, go up to the top here to share. And right over here, it says share a link to edit. Click on that and go to share a link to use as template. That's very important that you click on this one. Once you do, it's going to create a specific link for this. So go to copy link and literally you can just create a Word document where you copy and paste that link and that Word document document is what people actually receive. But what I would do is create a really cute PDF file that hyperlinks this into it. So let's create that real quick. Let's go back to the home page of Canva. Now I'm just going to create a square artboard. Let's go to create a design. We'll do, let's just say a 12 by 12. So now I'm just going to take inspiration from how I designed the actual template.
Okay, so this is the document that I want people to actually receive when they purchase my listing. And you can see right here that I've put text saying, edit your template here. So what I wanna do is actually hyperlink my template right here. So remember how we copied the link to share as a template? Now highlight what you actually want to hyperlink. So I've highlighted that, go to the three dots here and go to this link icon and paste that template link in there and go apply. So now it's underlined. And when I PDF this, if you click on this, you're actually going to be brought to the template where you can edit it. Okay, so now I'm gonna download this as a PDF. Go to download and click on PDF print and go download. So now when I open my PDF, I can click on this link here. And this is what the customer would see once they click on that link within the PDF. And when they click on use template, now they're able to edit this media kit for themselves and download it for themselves. Now, if you want to learn how to upload a PDF document to Etsy, you can watch my video. I will leave a link in the description box down below. If you wanna sell digital products on your own website like Squarespace, there's many tutorials on how to upload PDFs on your own website. But again, just keep in mind that this is the PDF you would actually upload onto your website that gets sent to your customers right away because all you're really doing is just delivering that link in however format that you want to deliver it. If you want more ideas on templates that are really selling right now, again, you can watch my video that I posted last week. I lay out 10 ideas on how to actually do the research to make sure that it will sell. Let me know what other Canva tutorials you would like to see on my channel in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, I would love for you to hit the like button and notification bell. And of course, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.